This video will demonstrate how to create a page guide using TRM's Max Assist. Since most users who use the self-service Create SR application are novice Maximo users, I will create a page guide to assist in the creation of a service request for a computer workstation. Using the RM Max Assist Developer Perspective, I will click the New Page Guide icon in the toolbar of the Max Assist Explorer on the left of the perspective. I will then select the application Create SR from my list and give my page guide a name. This name is what will be the title of the page guide and will be seen by the front end user. Max Assist Developer will then present me with the Page Guide Editor, which is a representation of the Create SR application. I can now point and click my way through the creation of this page guide. First, however, I am also going to default this page guide to open automatically for the user Wilson. I will do this by expanding the Defaults folder and right-clicking the Default Users element in the Max Assist Explorer and then selecting the user Wilson from the list of users registered with my system. To create my to list of to-do items, I will use the page guide editor. First, I want to, the user to fill in their computer as the asset. I can add a to-do item to a field by finding it in the editor and clicking it, then selecting the add to-do option. This will present me with a add to-do dialog predefined with the MBO value or attribute asset num attached to this field. I will then enter a short description which is the name of the to-do item and will appear to the front end user as their task in the list. I can also add a condition which must be met in order for the to-do item to be considered complete. Leaving it blank will mark this item as complete when the field is populated. See our other tutorials for examples on configuring a condition. When the to-do item is complete, a dot will appear next to the field to signify that it has a to-do item associated with it. Second, they will need to enter their operating system as the CI item. Third, they should prioritize this issue. I will add also add a tooltip that will explain how the priorities work. They will see this tooltip anytime the field has focus. The details tooltip will expand when the tooltip is hovered over. Fourth, they should enter an accurate, but short, summary of the issue. Fifth, they should describe the steps needed to reproduce the issue in the long description. Lastly, they will click on the submit button. I will then submit this new page guide and tell my server it has new configurations. I can now browse to my application and test my configuration. I can do this by right clicking my connection in the explorer and selecting the open with internet browser option. As soon as I enter the app, you will see that my page guide automatically comes up. Notice that my list is movable, collapsible, and extinguishable, making it completely innocuous to the user. As I hover over the items in my list, the fields associated with the task will be emphasized on the page for the front-end user. Filling in the fields will now mark my task as complete and cross it off my list. 
When I click a field where I have attached a tooltip, my tooltip will then appear. Hovering over that tooltip will show my expanded tooltip details with further information for the user. If I click a task, that field will gain focus. Please watch our other tutorials to learn how to configure more advanced page guides.